everyone so this is the part three and in this video we are going to talk about prometheus grafana and how they are integrating with each other prometheus is for collecting the matrices coming from the apis coming from the systems and servers and how grafana is integrated with the prometheus to visualize to read the data using promql i mean there is a specific query language it uses it is able to visualize the data in the different custom dashboard charts and different matrices and then we will also set up the containers for uh, prometheus and the grafana so they should be they should start reading the matrix from the, from the nestjs application and then we will just add some code in the nestjs application which should be able to expose the matrix to prometheus i mean there is a prometheus module which we can use to push the matrix to the prometheus server Okay, so uh, let's talk about the definitions like what the Prometheus, what is the Grafana. Prometheus is a cloud native computing foundation project. What it does? It collects the metrics from the configured targets at a given interval and evaluate rules expressions and display the results. It can trigger the alerts when specified conditions are observed. So it, can, it also uses as alert manager, but what it really does is it collects the metrics from the configured targets and the configured targets can be your service your uh, some uh, deployment servers or the containers these are your target servers from where it can collect the uh, it can collect the metrics what is the grafana grafana allows you to query and uh, visualize the alert or understand how your metrics no matter where they are stored okay so what uh, i mean grafana has a nice integration with the lots of things it has a integration with the prometheus so prometheus is uh, giving us the metrics right now grafana need to read it and the visualize it and also has alert manager and all so this is the architecture of the prometheus and what the prometheus is doing you see this is my prometheus server it also uses the third party library to read the data from let's say i want to get a server matrix where i'm deploying the application so you can just use a node exporter that reads the server specific configurations otherwise best you will do using find target you will set a target like here my target is localhost 3000 on the nest js service prometheus knows okay these are my targets from where i need to collect the matrix and it will store the matrix in the local storage or internal storage and then grafana will use promql promql is just a query language which uh, using this it will read the data from the prometheus server and it will do the data visualization now data visualization can happen in different modes different charts and prometheus server can also push the alerts based on some conditions which we can set so this also used as alert manager it it pulls the matrix through the client library i mean either what happens is it, it generates the matrix from the target or if you already have the matrix created from third party source you can also set uh, the prometheus to pull it from Otherwise, you can also use these node exporter and CAD advisor. These are like uh, popular third party applications using which Prometheus can pull the data. Okay, so how it looks like Node.js application will use the Prometheus. Prometheus uses these two things Grafana and exporter. Exporter, we don't need to worry about. I mean, there are two third party exporters like CAD advisor and the node exporter. And this Grafana is actually used uh, notification channels in the dashboards to visualize the data. Notification channels for sending the appropriate notifications on some, some alerts because Grafana is visualizing the real time data coming from the Prometheus. And if there are something which we need to alert the user, all these things can happen here. So all these things need to be set up on the Docker containers, right? we already have i think uh, this nest yes and the postgres we need to create a docker container for the grafana and for the prometheus and this is how it will, uh, will work in the no nest js node.js application we will write some custom code that will create the matrix and, and push the matrix through the target prometheus will read it from the target and then this Grafana will use the PromQL queries to read the data from the Prometheus and all these things are happening on the Docker container network. Now let's spin up the containers for Prometheus and Grafana. So this is our code base and what do we have? We have Grafana, 
and there is no we don't have any dashboards because we are going to import the dashboards if needed this is our nest.js application this is the prometheus prom config we talk about it the scrap config i mean these are the the targets which we are specifying from from for prometheus to read the metrics from and this is the docker compose yml file which we have already used now we need to add two more services here so this is my master docker compose file so from this master file i will just use the prometheus and the grafana these are the two services i will copy in the docker compose yml file we already have two services here so i have added a prometheus grafana and now we got all the four containers right now we will see what it is doing prometheus is using a, a image because we are going to spin up the container container name the port mapping command because here also we need to pass the configuration for the prometheus which is which we have in our code base config file so and this is the config file which we want to put which we want to override with the prometheus configuration and this is the volume mapping for prometheus because it need to persist the data grafana it has nothing much uh, volume mapping port mapping it is using 3000 host port it is using 9090 host port and then we also need to specify their volumes so we will do docker compose up and get all these containers up and running so we got a volume port mapping for all the containers and everything is good and here i did docker compose up so it is spinning up the grafana and prometheus postgres and node.js container are already up and running so it is running prometheus on 9090 and the grafana on port 3000 let's take a look at that so this is how my grafana looks like I mean, once you are doing an initial login, first login, you need to enter admin, admin as a username and a password, and then you can reset. Opens the container uh, bootstrapped at localhost 3000, you will see the Grafana, uh, Grafana login. I mean, you need to log in with admin, admin, and then you can reset the password and start accessing this. So, I mean, these are some Grafana dashboards, and Prometheus looks like this on port 9090. okay so this is and here we can set a targets and here you can see i set a two different targets what are these targets now because the, because the prometheus needs two different targets to read the metrics from so here what targets i'm specifying that i can show you in my configuration files so this is prometheus config.yml so what this yml contains wrap interval in which like the prometheus will start collecting the metrics in these intervals wrap config prometheus is getting the prometheus itself data and the target name is node app because we are going to have a nest.js application running on port 3000 and the application name is app because you are doing container to container communication so you need uh, app here app 3000 this is your target scrap interval is 10 second job name is node.js app so these are the two targets we have specified and what these targets will do these targets will be exposed here and this will tell prometheus to read the metrics from this nest.js microservice whose container name is app port 3000 and the matrix is the endpoint are, it is exposing and this is just a prometheus endpoint Okay, so it will collect the metrics, all the metrics coming from this. And then for that, we need to configure the Nest.js applications to expose the Prometheus metrics. So we will uh, update our Nest.js application. We already have the container up and running for it. I will check in the Docker. Here you can see all the containers are up and running. So this is Postgres, this is Grafana, Prometheus, Postgres, and this is your Node.js application. So now let's see all the remaining bits and pieces of this whole setup in the, the last video, which is the next video.